Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. On this episode of the Lake Hill City Birds, we're going to be making another bird bath from a lamp. And I have to say the last one we made was my favorite because the base was just perfect for a bird bath. This one will be a little shorter, but birds really don't care about the height. I can put a plant tray on the ground and fill it with water and the birds will use it just as much as they do the taller baths. But I will show you all the water sources I have in my garden for the birds at the end of this video. So back in February, I took a trip to Goodwill and Hickson and found two lamps. And I will put a link to the other lamp bird bath in the video description. I like to go when they're having 50% off sales and they don't have those as often as they used to. I will also put a link to my most watched bird bath video in the description. It was my very first lamp bird bath that I made. This is a lamp we will be turning into a bird bath. It is a ceramic lamp and I enlisted the help of my husband Steve to take the lamp apart. You can do this yourself if you want to. It really is not that difficult. I have some health issues that affect my hands, so I need assistance when it comes to anything that I have to use my hands a lot with. So he's going to be getting the wire and hardware off of this lamp for me. All he does is remove the hardware up top. He pulls the plug out and then he saws this rod down. I bought this large plant tray at Ace Hardware with my $5 off birthday coupon and I bought some plants for my garden too so I spent about $10 but with the $5 off coupon this tray ended up being free. And this is what it will look like on the lamp base. I painted the lamp brown because that was the only color I had left or at least I thought. I cleaned and organized one side of my garage and found more spray paint so I decided to paint it again. I'll go over that with you in just a few minutes. Also went searching for a spacer. I usually go to Hobby Lobby because they have a larger selection of wood pieces, but this was on a Sunday and they were closed. So I stopped by Michael's and I found this round wooden plaque that looked like it would work. And with my 20% off coupon, it ended up being $4.74. I think I could have found a little thinner piece at Hobby Lobby that would have been much cheaper, but it was still under $5 at Michael's, so I'm okay with that. And if you're fortunate enough to have the tools needed to cut out your own wood circle, then that would be even cheaper. Steve has a drill bit that he's going to use to drill a small hole in the wood so it'll fit on that small piece of rod still sticking out of the top of the lamp base. And we went through all the glue we have in the garage and decided to go with this one, mainly because the Gorilla Glue was dried and wouldn't come out of the bottle. So hopefully this works. Well, oh, it's coming out though. So all he's doing is spreading the glue on the top of the lamp base and now he's going to place the wood spacer on, flip the lamp over where the wood spacer is on the bottom, and he will leave it there overnight to dry. I think for the most part that's pretty well in the center. Now what I would do... Turn it upside down. Absolutely. I want to paint it, so I was going to do that out in the yard. Turn it upside down while I painted it. Yeah. Because I'm going to paint it the blue color, I think. Uh, the brown kind of looks okay though, don't Leave it? it like that and let it go. Okay, so here's my lamp. It's upside down. Yesterday, Steve drilled a hole in this. So that little metal part had a spacer in between. It's kind of, it's a little off center, but it's pretty good. It'll work. Anyway, the glue has dried. I'm going to change the color. I painted it brown, but... I want something a little brighter. So I had, when I cleaned the garage, I found a lot of spray paint. We have gray, which is the color of the last bird bath I did, and it looks good out there. We have black, which I really don't want to do black. And we have this um, gloss seaside, which is the color of, of my kitchen. Um, I've got this in my kitchen. So I think I'm gonna go with the gloss seaside. Hopefully there's, there's a little over half a can, so that should be plenty. The black would probably look okay. It's just, 
I want something with a little color out there. Um, everything, well, my flowers have plenty of color out there, but you can see out through these dirty windows. Look at all my lilies blooming. Color, color, color. Okay, so I also have this little fountain, and I'm not sure how it's going to work. I got it on Amazon with the coupon. I think it was like $12. I'll have to look at the exact price, and I'll tell you the exact price. I'll put a link to it in the video description if it works well. If it doesn't work well, I'm not going to advertise it. But um, that's how we're going to turn it into a little birdbath fountain. So... I need to put my basin on it after I paint. I might go ahead and glue the basin on and then paint. Y'all, I'm thinking out loud here. What do you think, Bobby Joe? You think the oregano smells good? We got to wash it. All right, so that's where we are on the bird bath. It should be finished probably tomorrow. That'll give me a few days to see if I can get some birds on it for my video. And I'll post the video on Monday. So, we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and put the basin on the bird bath. I'm just going to spread the glue all over the wood spacer. Then I will place that on the bottom of the basin. Also, I'm going to fill the inside of the lamp with sand and seal it with some concrete. You don't have to do this part, but it will make the lamp heavier, so it'll be less likely to fall over. You can also fill it with rocks or pea gravel, whatever you want. I'm going to let this dry overnight. Okay, so the glue's dried. Everything seems very sturdy, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this and fill it with sand and concrete. I'll only paint the bottom of the bird bath basin. Okay, it's dry. Now let me show you the solar fountain. I haven't opened it yet. So here's the instructions and it shows all the different nozzles for different types of sprays. This looks like it's going to be simple to assemble. I'm going to put these little tabs at the end of each one of these little plastic pipes. Then I'm going to stick this into the little cutout area on the bottom of the fountain. See, here's the little cutout area. I'm not sure if you can see it on video, but this just slides right in. So, the water needs to be deeper than the pipes because this is how the fountain gets its water. I think I will try this nozzle first to see how it goes. This is solar powered, so you need to make sure if you use this type of fountain that your bird bath gets direct sunlight. It looks like the basin is deep enough. It probably wouldn't hurt to have one a little deeper, but we will see how this one works. Okay, so when I filled it with water, it just kind of floats around on top. This area of my yard gets direct sunlight from noon to sunset. There is not one area of my yard that gets direct sunlight all day long. 
we have a lot of huge old trees in this neighborhood and I love the trees. I'm not complaining about the trees. As the sun goes behind the clouds, the fountain does go down. And I've also noticed that on windy days, the water from the fountain blows out and empties the basin. So it would probably help to have a wider and deeper basin. I do not like to post videos of my finished products unless I show the birds using it. And I was worried I wouldn't have any bird footage by Monday because I had my GoPro out here off and on for three days with no birds using the bird bath. The birds do have a lot of other water sources in the garden to choose from, but finally on the third day, a robin showed up and made my day. So far the fountain seems to be working great, but it has only been one week. So if I have any issues in the future, I'll let you know and I'll do a video on that. I really love the way this bird bath turned out and I can always remove the fountain and I think the birds will still enjoy just bathing in the basin. I've read that the sound of trickling water attracts more birds, so we're going to see if we get more birds in the garden. My next projects will be bird feeders and squirrel baffles, and I also need to find another cheap lamp to make my mom a bird bath. bird bath. Okay, let me show you my garden. All my lilies are getting ready to bloom. And all my impatiens are blooming really good now. But I'm going to have all different colored lilies. These burgundy ones, they bloom first every year but I have yellow white pink these are my black-eyed Susans there's my concrete bird bath also have hummingbird feeders and the hummingbirds like to fight over these and I keep these full of water to keep the ants out but the uh, little birds like the chickadees they like drinking from this that's their water source every time I look up they're drinking out of that close up of my lilies look at this big bundle and got my day lilies and here's my other bird bath that was made from the lamp. And then down here, I haven't washed any of these this morning. I usually come out here and put fresh water in them in the morning, but the water still doesn't look too bad. I have this one that's my bee bath the bees will sit on that rock as you can see there's a bee flying around and they'll get water from this and also on the edges here this is just a little 99 cent 
plastic tray I got from um, Dollar Tree. I have this one that I leave on the ground and put water in. I need to wash it. It's full of pine straw. But the birds will bathe in it too. And then I have one over here. It's just on top of a terracotta pot. It's just a plant tray. I've got water in it. I've just got a big rock in it to hold it in place. And the birds always get on that one too. So, that is my water sources so far out here. I need to clean this one. It's kind of crooked. I need to straighten it. So, we've got three bird baths. We've got a pot. We've got a little tray. And we've got a little another little tray in the on the ground so that's our bird baths and our water sources for the animals and birds because it's not just the birds that use these water sources i've seen the squirrels and at night on my trail cam i get raccoons also possums I've seen some foxes seen some coyotes we see a little bit of everything out here and yes we are in the city we're not far from the airport as you can hear the jet flying over but we do get wildlife out here i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments or send me an email thanks so much for stopping by for a visit don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself projects, gardening, bird videos, and drool-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a very blessed day.